Let's take a look at an induction cooktop, which is what I have here, versus a traditional heating element cooktop, standard kind of electric. These are both portable cooktops, something you can plug in in your kitchen if you need an extra burner, or put on a boat, an RV, in a dorm room, wherever you need a little extra cooking space. Now, some similarities, they're both fairly similar in size. You can see that my induction cooktop here is a bit bigger. It's because as we get to, induction requires more electronics. So it's just a little heftier. This heating element, very simple and therefore uh, a bit smaller. Both of these can plug into a standard wall outlet. Now, the biggest difference is that with an induction cooktop, you're not actually directly heating whatever it is you're cooking. It's actually used as a magnet, believe it or not, to create the heat directly in the pan itself. And so it's not radiating heat out. I can like put my hand here with it, go in, I don't feel anything. The pot, pot itself will get hot. I've got some water in there, it'll start to boil pretty quickly. It's very efficient, but there's not gonna be that radiated heat. Versus with a traditional cooktop like this one, you basically got a cast iron element on top and it's just running electricity through basically a big resistor and all that electricity turns into heat and just radiates off and heats up the water or whatever it is that you're cooking in that pot. And so it's a much more primitive thing. It's just heat radiating out, heating stuff up. And the cooking surface is gonna get a lot hotter. Like I can, again, be pretty close to this and not have any problem. If this was running and I went and touched it at all, then we definitely would have an issue there. So that's the cool thing with induction, very efficient because all that power is going straight into the pot instead of wasting a lot radiating out as heat. And also, although the glass here will get a little hot from the pot itself and the pot itself will be hot from the induction, um, the area around it is still completely cool. Um, so it just not only is uh, maybe a little bit safer, you wanna use caution with all these, of course, but it also means less wasted power, you're not losing a lot to heat. That said, um, there are some things that, that make the uh, electric one maybe a better fit for some people. One is definitely price. With these particular ones, the electric is about a third the price of the induction, and it's also a lot less complicated. So you can see, again, it's literally just like a big wire with some resistor right in it, and it um, you run power through it. There's a little thermostat thing, and it generates heat. Induction, to do that magnetic heating, requires a lot more electronics and effort, and so it's gonna be more expensive and more complex, which means potentially more stuff to break versus this, which is just power going through a wire, pretty much, and that's pretty much all there is to it. The other advantage that electric, traditional ones here have, other than price, is just the fact that you can use any pan with it. Anything you would use on a traditional stove will work with this. With induction, the pan has to be induction compatible, which generally means it needs to be something a magnet would stick to. So cast iron or a steel pan like this, generally totally fine. But if you're using like copper or aluminum, anything like that, the induction's not gonna work versus the traditional electric will. So my recommendation, I love the induction. It's super efficient. You can see how quickly it boiled that cup of water. You're not wasting a lot of excess power to heat. If I shut this off, it's not, again, gonna be cool to the touch instantaneously because the pan did heat up and radiate a certain amount of heat out into the glass here. But again, don't try this at home. You know, pretty quickly, it's tolerable. I could touch it. If I did that with this after shutting it off, you know, after 15 seconds, it would still be burning hot and I would singe my fingertips. So I like that the induction cooktop um, isn't really heating up. It's just inducing that current, getting that boiling going. Um, also means less heat radiated out into the house on hot days. This is a joy to use and this one is a bit of a pain. 